Hey folks, it's Jim here again with another Crypto Hopper update, number 17, I do believe. Yes. Uh, all right, so how am I handling these bags that we got about five days ago? When was the last time I did a video about bags? It was 24th, I do believe. Have a look at the bags on here. Some of them, you know, fairly big, 33% there. Uh, this is the 23rd of February we're looking at there in my previous video so anyway I've been plucking them off one by one as I told you I would and I've also where is it I've got my trade history as well which I'm going to take a look at now uh, I'm in a good position right now this one's a, a nice one that's coming up nicely it's $468 after a few dollar cost averaging goes all right so let's have a look how much that would be worth if i were to sell it now eleven dollars thirty six profit all right so uh, hopefully that will go up enough to trigger the trailing stop loss at four point two five percent with a drop and i'm going to change that drop actually give it a bit more wiggle room with a drop of one point two five so the minimum i should get on that is three percent all right so Plenty of wiggle room for if things dip up and down as it's going up, you know, when it does this up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I don't want one of these little downs to be bigger than 1.25%, basically, because that's the wiggle room that I'm talking about. If I was to put it too thin, like this, 0 0.1, that's 0 0.1%, so it would go down to 4.15%, and then it would sell. Well, I don't want that. I want it to have lots of wiggle room so that it can uh, it can potentially go up to 10 15 percent and it drops just enough when it's definitely dropping and it goes more than 1.25 down it'll sell so hopefully the minimum I should get is 3 percent on that 4.25 minus 1.25 is 3 all right so I'm going to set that there I DCA'd this one about 20 minutes ago and it went to 4.2 percent under all right so that's getting a big big position now look at the size of that guys I, I really don't want to dca that again uh as you can see these two too big to dca at the moment but as i mentioned i'm plucking them off one by one based on how easy they are to dca now let's have a look at my trade history let's have a look at my stats first I want to cover yep 20th of September right up till now all right so there we go these will be a bit screwed up because I've added funds uh, in various points in the, in the past few weeks so take the notice all right so let's have a look all right, you can see where I've added funds here. Boom, boom, yeah. I think I added, uh, how much did I add there? I think I added about six or seven hundred dollars. Not sure, I've, I've lost count of the funds I've added actually. However, that is the idea. Put more funds in, grow quicker. All right, so let's have a look. Total average profits 2.27. Uh, it's got some nice results there. Average holding time 13 hours. You can see the the growth there. All right. So how many times have I added funds and how much did I add in total? Uh, let me get the calculator out. I'll try and remember each time. All right, I added 150 in Bitcoin. Then I added 156 in Bitcoin. Then I added 563 of Ripple. And then I added another, I think it was 174 in Ripple about a week later. 
So I've added around this. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong, guys. I've added about a thousand dollars in the past couple of weeks. All right. So what you're seeing here for this really big rise is not just from trading. It's a combination of adding more funds. Uh, this is obviously, I think this will be where Bitcoin tanked. Yeah, Bitcoin tanked. And let's have a look on the, yeah, Bitcoin came down, didn't it? I think it came around here on the 23rd. Yeah, tanked, tanked, tanked. Then suddenly I'm holding all those bags that you see here. So then I decided, well, okay, I've got some funds to use to DCA my way out of the easiest ones of these. So Bitcoin is now creeping up again. I don't know how far it's coming up. This rise here, I've got the one hour chart on. This rise and this rise here, this rise here, these rises when I'm able to handle my bags maybe I'll just pluck one off at a time and I'll deal with the the easiest bag you know so if I find something that's like uh, where, where is it which one would I have dealt with first I think I would have dealt this one first mana all right mana coin I DCA'd it it ended up being about four hundred dollars in size and it sold for a nice profit and we'll find exactly where it is. Let's search for mana. All right, mana. Yeah, $403. Sold at 4.9% profit. So, 403.66 minus 4.9. 403. 4.0. 3.66 minus 4.9%. That's a $19.77 profit on that. So you can see, guys, what happened there with that mana. It was $56. If I had $56 in that position and it went up by 4.9%, what would that have been? Let me open another calculator what did we say it was fifty-six dollars twenty-two fifty-six dollars twenty-two right, so imagine it wasn't a bag just imagine it was at zero percent and it went up four point nine percent what would we have we will have a two dollars and seventy five profit compared to nineteen dollars seventy seven profit all right so that's how beneficial dcas can be that's how you get out of a bag like that look at that nearly twenty percent under and in fact it did at one point go to minus twenty five percent then it crept up again all right so that's how you handle bags guys so the proof is in the pudding now let's have a look at my trade history uh, You'll see, I've not lost anything. All right. Where's I'm looking by date? All right, so we want to be going back the past week. All right, 26, 26. No, that's not good. What do we want? I know what to do. I have to scroll down the bottom, don't I? Let's have a look. Ooh. I'm just going to scroll down and scroll down and scroll down and I'll pause the recording because it will take about five minutes to get through them all. And when I've scrolled down and loaded every page in, I will start the recording again and continue where I left off and show you. All right. All right. So I have scrolled down through all of them and let me just sort by results and then you can see every single trade. I've ever done with Crypto Hopper, and you'll see some of the 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 ones that I manually sold for a loss right back in the beginning. So there, there we are. See these red ones? They haven't changed. They're 
you can see them in my other videos from the beginning and you can check the dates there look it's the only times I've ever lost look synced trailing stop loss that was when uh, the price went down far too quick for the bot to catch and it sold at 0% so I didn't make anything on that all right in fact maybe I lost about three cents on that because of the fees for trading all right so I lost three cents there nothing these ones here deliberate sells look manually sold I saw Bitcoin tanking uh, I wasn't I wasn't up to speed on the DCA technique that I use now so if this was to happen to me now this would be nothing I would deal with this because you know I can deal with this easily all right uh, where's my ooh, got some nice positions coming up that uh, Oh, look at that, 2.56 on $468. Oh, nice, $13 profit so far. Yes, lovely job, Lee. All right, back to here. So those are the only losses I've ever had, and you can check the dates there. They were way back when I first started using the bot. I'd only been using the bot two or three weeks at this point. All right, so there you go, and then... Obviously, these are all my buy orders, so you're not going to see any profits there whatsoever, right down to the bottom. Okay, look at that. All right. So now I'll scroll back to the top. And if you want to see, you can pause the video. Hundreds of buy orders there. Should get to the cells soon. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trades. And apart from those little red losses back in the beginning that were manual losses, the bot didn't lose it. Uh, not not lost a penny, even with with those big bags. See how huge this list of trades is should be coming up to the sell orders soon makes my eyes a bit funny don't know about you all right there you go remember the losses back in the beginning all right now we get to the nitty-gritty stuff I'm just learning how to use the bot here and it's it's doing little trades and then I'm tweaking and making better and better trades. All right, so I'm, I've improved things and I'm getting like four percenters, five percenters. So this is sorted in the size of the trade, this column. So let me scroll up to the top, right up. And you can see hundreds and hundreds of trades there. But as you can see, proof in the pudding I have not lost a penny since last October when I manually sold the bot has not lost me a penny all right now back to the dashboard so what am I going to do with these I'm going to continue to do DCA to clear these bags look at that um, OMG what was that five days ago how many days ago was 23rd of February actually it's the next day wasn't it OMG it was $227 let's have a look yeah I think I DCA'd that oh there's another position for OMG that's a new position now came in three hours ago alright so OMG it was uh, $227 did a couple of DCAs, maybe one DCA, I think. 227. That doesn't really double up, does it? Uh, maybe it does because it was minus 30% or something. All right, yeah, maybe I did do one DCA there. Merged. Oh, well, it's bought some more. I, I know what's happened. It's bought some more OMG and it merged the positions. I've switched off the auto merge for now because I want new positions to come in and act as separate entities from this so OMG it was 
minus 33% on this video from the 23rd. Now what is the date now? It's the 2nd of March. So that's five days plus two days. Yes, seven days ago. This is seven days ago, this video. Right, when's the 23rd of March? Uh, sorry. The 23rd of Feb. Yeah, seven days ago, look. All right. So, let's have a look at another position. That I see it. I want something that is identical here. There's that $563 of ripple that I put in. Added, added to my funds. No, you can't say I'm cheating, because <clears throat> that's what anybody will do. They will put funds in. You know, when they've got some money to throw in, if they're making a lot of money and they want to grow their fund even faster, get some money stuck in there. You know, so you'll keep growing even faster. You'll you'll jump yourself along that uh, compounding journey instead of say taking a hundred days to, you know get to a thousand dollars from five hundred dollars or whatever you know you can boost yourself along that journey and you can knock it down to 50 days instead of 100 days just by adding more funds you know the more funds you add the quicker you add it at the beginning the more exponential your money is going to go you're going to see bigger results sooner so obviously every opportunity I get I'm going to be putting money in and I will tell you, I don't want to. I don't want to come across as, uh, oh, look at all of this. I've turned six hundred and ten, uh, six hundred and seventy dollars into three thousand two hundred dollars, and I didn't put any money in for five months. This is not a true representation. I've added, what was it, a thousand and twenty-four thousand thirty-four dollars, from outside. All right. So where were we? All right, I want a position here. It's not LTO. Fun. What was fun when I had that? Was it in there? No, it wasn't. It's a new position compared to this. All right. Ocean sold. DCA'd it and sold it. Ripple I have in reserve. In my reserved funds. Because when I added that... Uh, I added that and that tanked I added that at the wrong time had I known that Bitcoin was gonna where's the 23rd I was up around here I put ripple in around here somewhere I added it to Binance added it to Binance and then of course it tanked <laughs> so five hundred and sixty three dollars turned into oh about I think it was about four hundred and fifty so I put that in reserve and I DCA'd it took it up to eight hundred and ninety nine cost and it's in reserve alright so there we go so I'm dealing with these ones this is the one I want to come up next that will be nice when that sells what's that two point eight percent it's thirteen dollars profit if I sold it right now and I really think it's going to come up further than that. And I want it to come to 4.25%. Activate the trailing stop loss. Alright. So, I mean, I could sell that now and add these funds back to my little kitty there. But I think I'm alright. I think I'm okay. Alright. So that's what I've been doing, guys. Basically, I have been plucking them off one by one. And that's how I deal with my bags. And... This is why you never ever panic sell anything, guys. Because uh, I tell you what, most people do when they get on Crypto Hopper, they go, Yay! And they're trading away and they're making good profits. And then, of course, eventually, Bitcoin does this. And they're holding bags. And they go, oh my god, what a load of crap. I'm getting rid of this crypto hopper. And then they go, right, what a scam. And they panic sell. They lose all of this. Right? Let's have a look at this one here. $471. If I were to sell that now, how much would I lose? That's $70, guys. What about this one? If I were to sell that one... That's 
Seventy dollars plus sixty dollars is what? Hundred and thirty. Hundred and thirty lost if I just sold these two now. How much for that one there? If I sold that one now, it would be twenty-three dollar loss. So that's about we're talking around about hundred and fifty dollars loss if I sell these now and quit Crypto Hopper. Instead of just handling each bag one by one. Zen, you know. Just deal with one problem at a time. Don't look at these. Deal with the easiest ones to DCA. Alright. And if you look on this video here from the 23rd. At the time, this one, Mana. Because it's a low dollar cost position. So I DCA'd, I doubled that. So that took the position to $112. And that knocked this down here from 19%. It's painful knocked it down from 19% down to around 10% under and then I DCA'd it again and got this down to 5% under the position became over $200 yeah and it was 5% under and then I DCA'd one more time so I took the position quite big 400 and something dollars and it was minus 2.5 and then I just let it ride I let it come up by itself from there as I mentioned before it's far easier to go from minus 2.5 percent than it is to go from minus 20 percent right so yeah DCA it's awesome and it ends up where because you've DCA'd made it a bigger position in little installments you end up with nicer profits imagine if this was just a, a small position of ten dollars fifty whatever and it was two point six three percent and what's two point six three percent of ten well it's twenty six it's twenty six cents so instead of making 26 cents on a $10 position, I'm up to $14.62, which is better. DCA guys, do your DCAs, but just pluck them off one by one, they're easiest to handle. Now what you've got to do is you've got to leave reserve funds, and that's why I split my funds. I never trade with all of my money, all right? And I leave myself half of my funds available so that I can do DCAs now because I've done some DCAs here I've dipped into my half funds here look at that what's half of this so what's a 1615 1615 is that right yeah so 1615 as you can see I've cut well into my reserve fund I've got about $656 left, which is waiting for me to, you know, sell this one, let this one sell, let that one sell, let this one sell, hopefully. And that will add mm, 470 $480-plus $15 or $20 profit for that one. So, yeah, it's going to add a good chunk to this. I should be looking at about 1,200. All right, and then I'm gonna handle this one separately. All right. So anyway, that is how you DCA your way out of holding bags. And as you can see, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, go back on that. The proof is in the pudding. There's the 23rd look where things started tanking. 23rd of February and you know I didn't I didn't do what most people do panic sell call crypto hopper a scam and you know let me look my channel what video did got bags that was the 23rd let me see this one was this the 24th yeah but within this video we just did pay Alright, you can see I'm starting to handle my bags. Ocean. 
that's now a hundred and two dollars position it's minus five percent you know what I mean so look at these compare them to the day before and you can see you can see my journey progressing through so how to handle your bags without pooping your pants guys that's how you do it I've just shown you so you you end up in a position like this don't ever sell this you you lose I never lost a penny and in fact I made more as a result of holding bags Do you get me just a little bit of patience deal with them one by one take you a few days doesn't matter you're not losing anything now I can't calculate this now but when all of this comes up and it sells all of this together sells and then I deal with this big position here when I get that up DCA that and that sells I'm gonna be sitting on well over three thousand five hundred dollars in here well over maybe three thousand seven hundred dollars all right I won't know until it's all come up and sold all right so look at these I'm only minus 7.59% under right now. I don't know if I showed it in this video. We've got to scroll down in the video. I can't see it. Yeah. So anyway, guys, proof is in the pudding. There you go. Sometimes I get a bag and it goes up in into profit and it goes to like 1.5% and then doesn't trigger the trailing stop loss and it starts coming down again and I think, Ugh sell it it's a little bit of profit it's a couple of dollars profit it's a big order sell it i can put these funds back into here so i can handle the next bag and what i do is i handle each bag no i don't want to do that let's say bitcoin's doing this All right, that's Bitcoin price, and the altcoins there will follow it loosely. Okay, so what I do is, you know, let's say this is where I get my bags, and everything's gone twenty percent under. Well, I go for my easiest position, and I try my very best to dollar cost average here. I try to buy more of that coin here. I never ever get it perfect, guys, and you, you will not either. Because you don't know where the bottom is, the bottom of this dip. All right. So you know, even if you get it there, that's going to be an improvement on buying here, because it means if you bought originally here, and you bought again here on the same coin, and you doubled it up, it means that you're cancelling this this out here, and it means it's like really in real life you bought here instead, because you're averaging. All right. So that improves things, but the very best thing you can do is buy right at the bottom of the dip, but it's very difficult. So anyway, your bags, they will come up again, and then maybe it comes up enough and you can sell it at profit. All right, and it's a bigger position, so you end up with a bigger profit. And then I move on to the next bag, but I wait for the next little dip. Yeah, where's Bitcoin? All these dips. I'll try and grab the best points for handling bags on the dips. These dips, yeah? It's a perfect time there, look, for handling bags. If I'd have DCA'd a couple of positions right there, that would be the most optimum time to DCA any bags. All right? So that's the idea. Deal with a couple of bags, comes up, sell it. You've got some more money. You sell it there. More money goes back into your fund. Wait for the dip. DCA your next position here. If you can. Or here. Or even here. Doesn't matter. As long as it's lower than the original pos position you bought at. Alright. So then it comes up. You sell here. Then you handle your next bag yeah buy more or buy more here buy more here or buy more here doesn't matter all works out well in the end 
but the best point is there all right and then you sell somewhere up here even here you know what I mean that's another bag handled wait for the next dip buy more of the next coin handle that bag just one by one plucking them off guys yeah so that's how you go from this yeah massive bags to only having a couple left I don't know how long these will take to clear because that's quite big is minus 18 percent so this one obviously that one will come up before these two yeah. so that's a big position now 625 when I DCA'd that about an hour ago 46 minutes ago it was at minus 8 percent and now it's coming down again it's dropping so I might not have DCA'd at the perfect time there 46 minutes ago let's have a look mm, that's the 30 minute chart so I'll put it on the 15 minute chart and go back three candles 15 30 20 yeah I think I DCA'd around here and look it's now coming back down again so yeah not perfect timing not too worried I've DCA'd it I've knocked it down from 8% down to 4% now it's dropping to minus 4.71 however it's probably doing Bitcoin it's probably doing a little dip and there you can see look doing a little dip and it's pulling all the altcoins down with it and obviously I must have DCA'd just at the wrong point not the best point anyway so all right so 4.77 percent under hopefully on this rise they will they will sell at profit what's that now they may dip a little bit that's only 1775 now look they might dip a little bit but then come up again right, I'm just gonna leave the bot to do its thing they're so close to zero this one I do not want to DCA this one again because it's huge now all right and that's how you play it guys you just pluck them off one by one don't panic and things will turn out all right on the night B and B, yep, still got enough there to cover trading fees. All right, guys. So something else I wanted to show you, uh, which I found last night, so a friend of mine, Tim in England, sent me a link to this, and it's quite handy, and it will be quite handy for me handling bags. So what it is is uk.tradingview.com forward slash crypto dash screener all right so what you do is you go in here and you choose your exchange like that you put your exchange in there I've got Binance and then I will go back to my coins here and I go okay ICX I want to DCA well, let's say OMG I want to DCA OMG but is it a good time let's go to crypto screener let's go to here as you can see there let me make this bigger for you guys I've got link USDT so I want OMG don't I type that in this will bring up OMG this one is the one I want on Binance let me scroll out a little bit uh, okay it's telling me to sell so that's not a good time to DCA, obviously, because the price is going down. So I wouldn't DCA that position right now. Right? Let's have a look at ICX. It's probably going to say the same as OMG. ICX. All right. ICX. Okay. This is the one we want in the middle there. Saying bye. So that might be good to DCA right now on that ICX position. If I had enough funds to do a DCA a couple of times, because if I DCA, if I doubled this position now, it would take it to 8% under. 
and it would wipe out my thumbs. So I'm not going to touch it right now. I'll get it on the, the next dip after I've dealt with these ones here and they have sold and made me a nice profit. Make sense guys? I'm sure it does. Just handle your bags one by one. Don't look at the big picture. Don't look at all these huge positions. Uh, let's have a look at the last video. Uh, the video the day before on the 23rd. All right, let come back. Get rid of the calculator there. All right. Oh yeah. Can you? They, there it is. The result. Everything altogether was 26% under, and it actually went to 33% under at one point when I wasn't doing the video. All right. Now, look at my situation. Now it's only seven and a half percent under. It's nothing, guys. All right. All of this combined, seven percent under. $1,975 in there, total. Alright guys, did I put your mind at ease? Now this bag holding thing is just going to happen every now and then. Bitcoin takes a dump now and then. Just part and parcel of Bitcoin trading. And the only way to lose is to panic sell. And then just think, yeah, crypto is not for me. It's too much of a gamble. Well, I do it where you can't lose. All right. So, guys, are you are you looking at this now and you're thinking, wow, he's not losing? I've showed you my trade history. I've showed you my stats. You, you know, my funds are going up and up and up. And I'm adding funds as well from outside. Uh, hopefully I'll add some more in the next two weeks. I'm hoping to add another $200. Alright. So anyway, let's have a look. Look at that, it's 5.42. So yeah, probably DCA'd at the wrong point on there. Could have been better. So that would make 11% uh, if I had... You know, that would have been 11%. If I did not DCA, and it would have been half of this, and that would have been 11%. But you know, it'll turn out all right. Funcoin, 2.07, let's have a look. Is that profit growing now? $8.12 if I sold it now. Can be quite nail biting sometimes, but you know, it's exciting. And when all you've got to do is demand of yourself that you are never, ever going to sell at a loss. Because that is when you do lose. You cannot lose if you do it like this. If you are patient and you just handle one bag at a time. I mean, imagine yesterday, this, there. Yesterday... That was something like minus 15%. Now it's plus 1.74%. And it's going to be a bigger profit. Have a look at that top one. That's only a $1.78 profit because it's a smaller position. $53. It's worth $55 if I sell it now. Alright. So all these little trades coming in. Past five trades there. Manually sold, manually sold, because I want to get these funds. I want to bang them back in there so I can deal with the next bags. And it's all good, guys. It is all good. All right. So here we are. That is how you do Crypto Hopper, guys. Patience, determination, never selling for a, pro uh, for a loss. All right. Click the link below the video if you want Crypto Hopper through my link. I'll give you the secret source settings. I've got a new little setup coming. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to contact me on Skype 
So first, you contact me on Skype first. Hey Jim, I want Crypto Hopper. Can I have the link, please? I'm going to send you a special link on Skype, and I'm going to give you instructions on to make how to make sure that I get credit for referring you, because I've been missing referrals again. All right, I'm getting like six, seven people per day sometimes on Skype claiming that they've got crypto up through my link I look in my affiliate stats and I'll only see two or three people so either somebody has been cookied before and I haven't been credited and that's not fair really it's not fair on you and it's not fair on me so what I want you to do is follow the instructions on the page after you click the link below this video it's a quick video telling you how to get crypto hopper through my link and what I'm basically going to do is give you my Skype ID on the next page when you click that link you connect with me on Skype don't go to crypto hopper yet come to me on Skype ask me bear in mind I could be in bed it could be midnight I could be in bed so you might have to be patient but it's worth waiting for guys I promise you that contact me on Skype I'll send you I'll, some instructions and then I'll say right here's the the link for uh, crypto hopper make sure you click that uh, make sure you check that my affiliate ID is in the URL so that I get the credit for it once I see that you are in crypto hopper under my link you're good to go I'll send you the secret source videos okay and it is videos plural it's not just one little video it's, uh, it's, I think there's about three or four hours of content in separate videos on the page running through everything you need to know about Crypto Hopper to get it running just like mine. I'm basically downloading all of my knowledge and experience of Crypto Hopper into video format on the secret source. All the settings, signals, templates, uh, training stop loss settings, things like that. Everything, every setting. DCA technique everything all in the secret source and you will know what to do in every scenario all right and you'll be you'll be doing the same as me so is that fair guys click the link below this video contact me on Skype be patient and wait for me if it's night time where I am just wait till the next day because I, I, I seriously I'm seriously telling you it's worth the wait I know you wanna, you're excited and you want to get going. You might be lucky and you might catch me right there and then. It might be instant, but I, I can't promise that because you might click 3 o'clock in the morning, my time. I'm not going to be sitting here 24 hours a day on Skype. I need to sleep as well. I'm only human. I'm not a robot like Crypto Hopper. All right. Click the link. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll see you next time, folks. Take it easy.